We are back live here in Miami, and here comes Gwen. Gwen already already had her amazing debut match last Wednesday night, and now it's time for all of us to be a part of her ACW Divide and Conquer in-ring debut. This is one of the top stars in the history. This is Gwen. Leads on the following contest, scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Gwen! Well, this girl's been on Total Drama Island one too many times, last I checked, and already a legend in her own rights. Last I checked in TNW's history books, both Duncan and Gwen were at ringside watching some of the greatest matches in TNW history since 2012 when Gwen and Duncan saw one of the greatest matches in TNW history. Team Rocket versus Pikachu in a two-on-one handicap match. I know that bad. They were there at ringside when it happened. When TNW first got started, they wanted to be a part of the show, but Cool 412 wasn't, wasn't, wasn't even thinking about it. And what the? Who's that? Well, it's someone new coming, and her opponent from another world, Maggie! Oh my god, it's Maggie! Well, Maggie, not alone, look who's with her! Bring it out, sir, put it best from another world. That's Tari, and there's Melanie! And right now, though, Tari and Melanie are on ACW as well. What a signing. Yeah, but look at the confidence on Maggie. Man, Maggie's done it all. She won Splatfest. She even done it all by even teaming up with a lot over the years. But more importantly, she even fulfilled her destiny in college, trying to become a coach. Well, Maggie already wearing an amazing ring attire, no less. Here we go. Referee calls the bell, and this one's underway. And Maggie even played basketball last I checked. <laughs> she knows how to play the game, I'll tell you that much. While well, Melanie, in the meantime, though, is at ringside with Tari in support of Maggie as Maggie dominates the fight on Gwen. I know that about it. Gwen better be careful when, what she wishes for when stepping inside the ring with the likes of Maggie tonight. And Meggie is a fierce competitor, and we're seeing that right here and now. And right now, though, folks, after this match, coming up next, the ACW Women's World title on the line inside a Rage in a Cage with Zoe Starks. A vertical atomic drop. Into a dangerously low blow. What a combination maneuver by Meggie, who's getting all fired up here. Clothesline off the corner on Gwen, who hasn't been given a chance to fight back. And an amazing drop kick. Man, Melanie is loving this. Well, Tari is at ringside as well. Gwen slamming Meggie's head off the top turnbuckle. There's the knee lift into a bulldog. And, uh oh. Gwen thrown over the top rope, and there's a hot shot by Meggie, launching Gwen over the top rope into a baseball slide to the outside. Well, Meggie does have experience in sports, but can that experience be enough to win here tonight? Riffit a two count, telling both these girls to get back in the ring or they're gonna get double counted out here. Hurricane runner by Meggie. There's a headlock takedown. And they're fighting amongst each other on the outside. We're afraid of five count as Maggie's in trouble. We're afraid of six. And Gwen brought it back to the ring. Maggie thinking basement drop kick to the leg. Nobody home there. And a verdict suplex by Gwen taking Maggie down. And there's a kick. A stomp in the arm as Gwen dominates the fight. Maggie was down at the fight and nearly going while Gwen here is coming back. Clothesline. Another clothesline. She ducks it. Most short shot to the face. Shades of the legendary to Jerry. Not how about it. TNW legend in his own rights. Man, oh man. Cover is this it? One, two, no. No. 
match. Right now, though, Gwen and Meggie already going at it here with everything they got in their bodies. And a side slam by Gwen, taking Meggie down. And now Gwen up top. What's he thinking? Diving elbow drop. Right to the heart of Meggie. Cover of the match. Is this it? No. What the? Meggie got the left shoulder up. An unbelievable sight, and it looks like Gwen is calling for the end. She's got her up. The rolling thunder bomb. We saw that last Wednesday night on her debut match. Cover is this it? One, two, and Gwen picks up the win. Well, what a win for Gwen. An amazing matchup these two have pulled off. Here's your winner. Gwen! Tari already out there, running over to Meggie while Melanie trying to come to Meggie's aid. But right now, though, that was an amazing matchup. And right now, though, folks, we're not even through yet. Coming up next, the ACW Women's World Title on the line. Zoe Starks gets a shot at Marisa's championship inside a rage in a cage to ensure we have a fair winner tonight. Oh, that matchup is huge, and it's live, and it's next. That's what, what happens ever seen before about GGB has missing once again. It has been what happens. All friends has been saved his life to the Cerido, and now he's been trapped in different dimensions in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. With all what happens, we'll find out that the CGTP will find him, which will decide to defeat Rocky. And we're back live here. Legion of the Falling Contest is a rage in a cage match. And it's for the ACW Women's World Championship. The ACW Women's World title on the line. And here comes Zoe Stark, who got screwed out of her title last month. Thanks to Stephanie McMahon. But luckily, she got some payback right there. Well, she's about to get even more payback because she's going to be locked inside the cage with Marise. And what that means is there's no outside help this time to help Marise retain the title like she did last month. Yeah, no doubt about it. Her husband, Miz, has got to be irate about this, knowing that his wife is going to be competing inside this cage, knowing it was booked by Noah Anderson, our general manager. No doubt about it. Yet the founder of ACW has got to be loving this, knowing Marise. And of course, Cole 412 has got to be loving this, knowing that the history between Maris and her husband, knowing the history between Maris's husband and Cole 412 throughout the record books. Yeah, not that uh, bad after disrespecting Ash Ketchum. Not yet, though. Zoe Stark waits for the arrival of the champion. And Maris receiving no love loss here in Miami. Well, these fans here in Miami don't like Maurice one bit, don't they? You think? Oh, man. After last Friday night, I better keep my composure in this main event. Whoa. After TNW Diva Stars, I think I may have have... I think I may have been blushing all night. Oh, my goodness. But nevertheless, though, I better keep my composure here tonight for this matchup right before our main event. No doubt about it, we're being told the main event is a hardcore match between John Moxley and Drew McIntyre for the ACW World Heavyweight Championship. Looks like Moxley is in his own element coming up next after this match is all said and done. Hardcore rules for the title. Introducing the challenger from Utah, Zoe Starks! And her opponent... From Montreal, Quebec, Canada. She is the ACW Women's World Champion, Maurice. Well, thus far, though, two championship matches went off with a bang. I think this match may go off with an even bigger bang, knowing the ACW Women's World title is on the line inside this rage in a cage. And we want to assure this match will go fairly this time tonight, folks to ensure there are no outside interferences to make sure we have a winner tonight. 
Yeah, no doubt about it. Here we go. Zoe Stark getting some payback like they did last month. Here we go now. Zoe Stark. Headlock, right hand. Taking Mideast down. And right now, Zoe Stark looking for the early escape inside this rage in a cage. The cage went over construction for a while now, and it looks like it's gone blue this time. Well, the Rage in a Cage over the years has gone through some unique changes over the years, but this change is a lot better because it, this blue real, this blue cage represents the colors of HCW tonight. I don't know how about it. There's a forearm right to the face, and we want to thank our staff here for making this cage happen. Playing ACW's colors are blue, representing it tonight. Not how about it? Covered by Maurice, looking to end a little early here. There's a two count. No. Zoe Stark kicked out at two and a half. Well, it looks like Maurice is telling the referee to open the door. Uh oh. Zoe nipped up. Didn't want that to happen. And Zoe Stark. Got caught with a knee lift as Maurice is dominating the challenger, but then again, maybe not. Springboard crossbody by Zoe Stark. The cover. Can we have a new champion? No. Kick out at two and a half. I thought for sure we had a new ACW Women's World Champion right there. This match is still going on. And a form right to the face. Standing moonsault. Hook of the leg. Cover. Could she do it here? No. Gets a one count, says our senior official. Yeah, good thing it's not Tony Mama Luke. <laughs> well, rubbing it right in Maurice's face, she did earlier. And Maurice sending Zoe Stark right to the corner there, right where this cage is. This is a deadly area to be in when you're right next to the corner of the cage. We've seen superstars, their careers ending short. Some of their know well. Remember TNW Las Vegas in your house from the first ever Rage in a Cage when Cole's mom had her match. It was a bloody mess. And yet, more importantly, even Call Girl sending other divas along with Revy for the ride that Dawn and, and Aelita will never forget. You know that about it here. Zoe Stark looking to make a name for herself. Even Captain Professor added to that resume when she got thrown off the cage by Bailey and survived. And that was a night that nobody never forgot about. Yeah, no doubt about it. Right before TNW Diva Stars last Tuesday night. And right now, though, but East right now. Moving Zoe away from the ropes. This is not a normal matchup. If it were, I would have known by now. And a French kick right in the face of Zoe Stark. And now Maris looking to place by French rules and get the heck out of the cage. And right now, though, it's a smart move here because if she escapes, she can retain it all. Uh-oh. Zoe back to her feet, not letting that one happen. Right on target. And stopping Maris dead in her tracks, trying to escape the cage. You can win the match by pinfall. You can win it by submission. Or one diva must escape the cage, and that could be a decisive winner here tonight. Yeah, but these gorgeous ladies are playing by the rules. It looks like they're both playing by the French rules this time, because if, it's, if it were a French rules cage match, it would have been something else. You can only win the match by escape. And it looks like Maris just slams Zoe Stark's head right off that that cage. And oh my God! Zoe Stark got thrown off the cage. Uh oh! What's keeping her going? I don't know. Oh my God! She got thrown right off the cage. A dangerous area to be in. Once you're inside this cage, there is no way that Zoe Starks is going to be able to survive after tonight. Do you think? And Marie slamming her head into the cage, getting her off. Oh, look out. Zoe Starks from behind. Trying to get Marie down. All right now, though, Marie's trying to escape it. Yeah, get her down. Yeah, right now, though, Maurice in trouble here. Yeah, get her down. And right now, though, both Divas are going to try again, it looks like. Well, they're not through here with one another, and they're both going to try to escape. This is a game of cat and mouse at this point. 
And Maurice again. Ah! Oh my God, again. Zoe Stark got thrown right off that cage. She's got to have a concussion. Just my God, enough's enough. Please stop the dang match, please. Oh, wait a minute, Zoe Stark from behind. Stopping Maurice dead in her tracks, who's dangling from the ropes, hanging on for dear life here. Oh, wait a minute, it's a race against time. Who's gonna escape first? They both climbed up, and Zoe just realized it. And this time, Maurice's gonna set for a ride and, ah! Oh my God, Maurice goes down, Maurice is down. Yeah, but Zoe is close from escaping the cage. And wait a minute, but he's preventing that one. We have seen how careers have ended, but right now though, this matchup is still going on with their careers on the line here. This is a game of Russian roulette at this point, playing with their careers, knowing how dangerous this cage is. And think about the horrors these two are going through to survive this rage in a cage match. And right now, the, oh my god, oh god! If she throws her off the cage again, this could be critical! Oh my god, again! Again! Off the cage! All right now, though. Zoe, again being brought down. This is, a, this is like a repeat of cat and mouse at this point. Can these two at least try something else? because these two are already decimating each other inside the cage. This is a dangerous area to be in when it's Rage in a Cage. Yeah, it's, it's Rage in a Cage, all right. And this is like a game of Russian Roulette at this point. This is truly a game of cat and mouse at this point. There's, a, there's no way none of them have made their escape yet or pinfalls or submissions yet. And right now, though, Manny's trying to escape before it's too late and she got caught and, oh God. And Zoe Starks again got thrown off. How the heck did Zoe get back up again? These two are really putting their bodies and their souls on the line. Knowing of what's on the line here. Do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? This is pride. This is guts. And these two are, are not even giving up when you're inside the rage in a cage. And Zoe's head got slammed into the cage. So did Maurice, and down she goes. Maurice trying to get up. And stopping Zoe, dead in her tracks to prevent that escape. And now picking up Zoe, going for something here. Uh-oh, and Siguri, Zoe got popped right in the arm. The French kiss again, French kiss. And Maurice telling the referee to open the door. Well, she's playing it by French rules, all right. And she's looking for something else to end Zoe Starks right here and walk out with the title. Oh, no. Oh, no. The French kiss. Cover. Two. And Maurice is still the champion. Maurice retained the title due to some tough competition. Here is your winner, and still, ACW Women's World Champion, Maddie. Man, Zoe Starks have been through so much. We may need medical personnel out here for Zoe after that gruesome steel kick, this gruesome rage in a cage match. Right now though, folks, we're not through yet. Up next, our main event tonight, the ACW World Heavyweight title on the line. The champion, Drew McIntyre, goes up against John Moxley. Oh, that matchup is huge, and it's live, and it's next. That's what, what happens at the scene before about GGB has missing once again. It has been what happens. All friends has been saved his life to the Cerudo, and now he's been trapped in different dimensional in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. With all what happens, we'll find out that the CGTP will find him, which will decide to defeat Rocky. We're back live 
Legion of the Fun Contest is a hardcore match. And it's for the ACW World Heavyweight Championship. And here comes Moxley. Who has deployed here in ACW ever since arriving after losing the AEW and WCW versus TNW, ACW, and HWF war years ago in 2020. Well, how about it? It was three years ago. And that was a big time moment for TNW's history books. But after John Moxley joined the fight against XPW, that changed immediately for Mox. He really just wanted his own freedom, and he's getting his own way tonight. Well, he's getting his own way, that's right. After earning the right, taking out Grado to get a shot here at the ACW World Heavyweight title. Oh, well, he's getting it all right. But yeah, Grado, on the other hand, has gotta be looking on backstage seeing this matchup happen. Yeah, but Grado's a, a great young man. He's got a big heart in his sleeve. You cannot deny the heart, the soul, and determination after that Rage of the Cage match. That was pride and guts. And we were told from the floor by our paramedical staff that Zoe Starks has been rushed to the hospital after being thrown not just off the cage multiple times, but that was a deadly Rage of the Cage match. My God. All right, now though, we, we pray and hope that Zoe Starks is gonna be okay, and yet they're doing vital, they're doing some medical tests on Zoe Starks right now. We'll keep you posted on Zoe Starks' medical condition and maintain available. And right now though, we gotta focus on our main event, the ACW World Heavyweight Title. Right after Maurice left, the fans were booing right at Maurice, and of course the Miz. There's gotta be some minor concussions and there's got to be repercussions and some punishments for Manis, as far as I do know. And we'll keep you posted on that. May 10 available. Uh-oh. I just received word that Zoe Starks has, is A-OK -okay in the hospital. She's right now trying to recover. And I've just also received word from business partner Jenny Wakeman that it looks like that Maurice is going to face some major punishment this Wednesday night in an 8 Divas Battle Royal to end off ACW and back in the ACW arena in Phoenix, Arizona. Well, it's a big time moment opportunity because don't forget, Maurice caused it and now it's her punishment. An 8 Divas Battle Royal to any Diva, an 8 Women's Battle Royal to any women in the back that want a shot at Maurice's ACW Women's World title. Well, it's punishment from Maurice coming up this Wednesday night, and it's open season as she's got a huge target on her back. No doubt about it. Right now, though, folks, let's go to our ring announcer for an introductions between challenger and champion. Introducing the challenger from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 236 pounds. John Moxley! And his opponent from Ayrshire, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, he is the ACW World Heavyweight Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre! Man, the ring announcers are all fired up as long as these two guys are as well. The ACW World Heavyweight Championship gonna be soon to be decided as the referee calls for the bell, showing John Moxley of what it's all about. But how about it? These fans here in attendance are really loving this. These fans here in Miami were chanting, this is awesome, this is awesome. Yeah, no doubt about it here. Referee called for the bell, and this one's underway. Here we go. Hardcore rules for the ACW World Heavyweight title. Well, Moxley wanted it to be hardcore rules, and Noah Anderson granted him this match. Well, McIntyre is familiar with this type of rules. He's been through that in his career. And now he's bringing in the steel steps. Remember, anything goes in a hardcore matchup. I don't think a ring is going to be able to contain these guys, let alone bring in the steel steps. Oh, it's legal. Hot shot. Oh, my God. 
and the steps now are on the floor as Drew McIntyre goes for the hockey stick. He's got the hockey stick. And the fans here in Miami want tables. This is Cajun country after all, here in Miami. And these fans are hardcore, they want tables. There's a right hand, oh, look at this. He's got an arm bar locked in on him. And Moxley escaped it, and there's a knee lift. Straight to the leg, great Harley race with that knee lift. You know that about it. And McIntyre baseball slide connecting on, Mac, on Moxley, dark on the steel steps right out of his hands. And Moxley with the right hand has got a sleeper hold locked in. That looks like a Taz mission. The Taz mission, it looks like locked in on, on McIntyre. Man, McIntyre doesn't give a dang if he's in a hardcore matchup or not. All he cares about is winning and retaining his title here tonight. Well, he's been on a roll as world heavyweight champion. So far, though, we had three successful title defenses that were retained. And right now, though, we hope that this one could be a lot better. And we want to thank you all so much for inviting us into your home tonight from Miami, Florida for ACW, Divide and Conquer. No doubt about it. And this is a very dominating crowd here in Miami. And Moxley just aiming right for McIntyre's, he McIntyre's head. And there's a cutter. My God, Moxley is just decimating McIntyre. Boy, don't forget their history. Way back in their early days, at, back in the WWE's record books. No doubt about it. Women known as Dean Ambrose of The Shield had their war with Dolph Ziggler and McIntyre. No doubt about it. The one time the Shield got arrested, but they came back, and they did not come empty-handed. No doubt about it. McIntyre hit that hockey stick on the spine of McIntyre as Moxley goes for the cover. Is this it? No. John Moxley thought that was it. I thought for sure we had a new world heavyweight champion. Wait a minute. Whoa. Orange clothesline by Moxley here. And Moxley vowed to make sure he didn't leave ACW, not until he won the World Heavyweight title. And right now, though, we haven't seen his wife, Renee Young, in months. Who only knows when she'll be back. Gut wrench powerbomb by McIntyre. Is that it? No. Moxley kicked out at two and a half. And, whoa! There's no way you're going to keep this maniac down. He loves this type of match in this environment. And he's telling, Mo he's telling McIntyre, get up. Come on, is that all you got? And he's screaming at him, batter up. Well, there ain't no baseball bat, it's a hockey stick. And McIntyre taking down Moxley, avoiding the paradigm shift, because he knows what that's all about. Oh, it's a dangerous move once you're in this match. When it's hardcore rules, anything goes. These fans here in Miami are on their feet, loving this. What's McIntyre got in his mind from Mox? Mox right now got slammed spine first, right off that barricade. And yet though, this has been an amazing night thus far here from Miami, Florida, for Divide and Conquer. Oh my God, whoa! Mox is coming back. Forearm after forearm. Oh, bad place to be in, McIntyre. Clothesline into a bulldog. And Moxley is coming back. Oh, what's he thinking now? I don't know. Uh-oh. It's a stop sign. And he's telling McIntyre to get up. And he slams the stop sign down, realizing he may not need it. But he will for this. Pile driver, my God, on the stop sign. Cover, two, no. How the heck did McIntyre kick out? I don't know. That was a pile driver on the stop sign. Uh-oh, 
Paradigm shift! Paradigm shift on the stop sign! Cover! Could he do it? No! Mox thought that was it after that paradigm shift. And he throws the stop sign right at McIntyre's gut. And man, Mox is irate. He's got the stop sign again, planning for something. That's why this match is extreme and it's hardcore rules. Oh my. Wake up, McIntyre. Oh my God. Moxley with a cover. Can we have a new champion? He did it. He did it. We got a new ECW World Heavyweight Champion. Here's your winner and new ACW World Heavyweight Champion, John Moxley. John Moxley did it. We have a new World Heavyweight Champion. Oh my God. What a night it has been here from Miami, Florida for ECW Divide and Conquer. We want to thank you all so much for tuning in to this amazing night. Three championships were decided, but none bigger than what we witnessed here tonight. But how about it here, folks? We want to thank you all so much for tuning in. I've been your commentator, MJ. We'll see you all next time. Good fight. Good night. And thanks for joining us. And my God, what a night. What a night here on ACW. Divide and Conquer live from Miami, Florida.